Kaduna State is one of the sub-nationals in Nigeria. It is the fourth largest and the third most populated state in the country. Created in 1967, it is one of the oldest states in Nigeria. Kaduna State is named after the Kaduna River, which initially hosted a large crocodile population. It occupies a landmass of approximately 45,061 square kilometers, which represents about 5% of the total landmass of Nigeria. Kaduna State has a population of over 10 million people, comprising various ethnic groups such as Hausa, Bagi, Adara, Fulani, Jaba, Kataf, and many others. Modern Kaduna sits on some of Africa's older civilizations, such as the Nok, which dates as far back as 1500 BC. The inhabitants of the village made some of Africa's oldest and intriguing sculptures. The Nok village is located about 300 kilometers south of Kaduna city. The ancient city of Zazo, also known as the modern Zaria city, where you find the magnificent Emir of Zazo's palace. The significant feature of this palace is that it still retains its original form, made of mud. This palace was built in the early 19th century. You may also wish to coincide with the annual Islamic festivals of Eid al-Fitr and Eid al-Kabir known as Salah celebrations. The Matsurga Waterfall is a majestic natural forest attraction located at Madatong Badakia, five kilometers from Kafanchang, the third largest city in the state. The waterfalls provides possibilities for hydroelectricity generation, natural spring water production, fish farming, and investment in tourism development. The Kajuru Castle is a huge, magnificent and luxurious villa built in the 1980s by a German expatriate. It is located on a hilltop for a marvelous view of the countryside. Fifth Chakapolo and Country Club offers the finest equestrian experience not only in Nigeria but in the West African sub-region. Sophistication and excellence are at the heart of this destination with an endless view of unspoiled natural landscapes. Guests are treated by the tradition of warm African hospitality. In spite of these numerous development and advantages, Kaduna State is still faced with some environmental challenges. These challenges are primarily due to climate change. This has resulted to issues like desertification, deforestation, drought, flooding, and other urban and rural disasters. Kaduna State Government has in the past few years taken steps to change the narratives by implementing programs and interventions on issues of environment, especially in the frontline areas and communities. Since assumption of office, the executive governor of Kaduna State, Senator Ubasani, has taken issues of environment and natural resources seriously, especially climate change and global warming. Within a short time, the governor charged and directed state apparatus on environment to rededicate its commitment on climate change, championing the Green Kaduna and Smart Kaduna City programs. However, there are challenges confronting this noble cause. Majorly, funding has been a stumbling block over the years. Kaduna has battled with perennial flooding over the years, a situation that has compelled the government to take concrete steps in curtailing the menace of flooding. This is achieved through the creation and rehabilitation of water channels in flood-prone areas within and outside Kaduna metropolis.
We are working assiduously with our communities to ensure that, yes, uh, desilting is done. All the drainages within the state and the city center and even the suburban uh, uh, communities are well sensitized in the issue of desilting. Because majorly, by the time you have good drainage system, but if the water comes, there is a channel that it can follow and empty itself in the uh, rivers. Yet, many other areas are still faced with the predicament of perennial flooding. Flooding in Kaduna needs a holistic approach, bringing together all the environmental factors to mitigate the threat posed by flooding. While the state government is doing all it can on the issue of flooding, a hand of friendship is needed to help solve some of the negative environmental concerns. Renewable energy is one of the strategic actions in Kaduna aimed at attaining a sustainable and resilient future. The benefits of renewable energy go beyond environmental protection. It offers a pathway towards energy independence and enhancing energy security. These form the decision of Kaduna State Government in giving renewable energy all the seriousness it deserves. The government has invested massively on renewable energy, even though a lot needs to be done. The interventions on renewable energy include Solar for All, a program to provide over 70,000 civil servants with renewable energy option and a plan for the general public in the near future. Solar Farm Project Commitment on biofuel project initiated in conjunction with the NNPCL. Deployment of over 7,500 solar streetlights. Noteworthy in this respect is that the state government is targeting the installation of over 25,000 solar streetlights in both urban and rural areas in the next two years across the state. Kaduna State has also installed over 900 solar-powered boreholes for clean water in rural areas. Installation of 5 kVA solar energy systems to 255 primary healthcare centers in the state. Establishment of Green Industrial Zone, which is dependent on solar energy systems of 20 megawatts compartment, while the Green Economic Zone is dependent on 5 megawatt compartment. Distribution of over 5,000 clean cook stoves to youth and women in the state. Trained over 3,500 youths and women on ways to reduce over-dependence on fuel wood. Kaduna State is blessed with arable land that grows almost any kind of plant. This has enabled the state to pursue aggressive forest reserve programs, tree planting programs, seedling programs, forest protection and regulation programs are some of the efforts on afforestation and deforestation drive in the state to curb carbon emission while trying to attain an eco-friendly environment. As a state with a large population of farmers, agriculture, contributes a large percentage of the GDP. Therefore, Kaduna is moving fast from just subsistent farming to smart agriculture. The concept is aimed at developing environmental programs that would absorb and curtail the impact of climate change and global warming. We are out and working on the issue of uh, uh, reforestation because all the uh, our forest trees that have been uh, put down, we are trying to reforest them and at the same time we have uh, engaged with the international communities and development partners working assiduously to ensure that we have a cleaner environment because our target is to make Kaduna State uh, a green state and a smart city. This has led to conserving of water for animal rearing and small-scale dry season farming. Again, the smart agriculture has impacted in the prevention of rural urban migration and has significantly put a stop to herders and farmers' clashes 
and crisis. Da ko zaka gansu kikirin ba ruwa da a sau daya za su hiyar ruwa sai dai kuma wata ran sake dawa yanzu sai sani ya ta hiyar ruwa sau uku anan go ta zaga ya ta dawo ta hiya ta zaga ya ta dawo ta hiya ai mu an ci gaba in Allah da mu dai muna fatan abun ya ci gaba yadda har za mu samu na aiki rani mu za mu sha ruwa inda ba mu taba tunanin za a samu ruwa ba gashi Allah ya kawo shi za a sha za a yi wanka za a ji dadi kuma duk wanda ya biyo gurin ma da in kaga ya sha ruwa sai ya hada da kogi amma yanzu gashi a tsakiyar wurin da ba a yi tunanin za a samu ruwa ba gashi an samu kowa na zuwa yana sha imagine doing more water conservation projects in other local government areas the story would indeed be different as many of the farmers and herders will coexist in a peaceful atmosphere while engendering economic growth in order to achieve the goals and objectives of mitigating the impact of climate change kaduna has since created and enhanced its institutional capacity on climate change first it has already developed policy on climate change this is to guide all actions in the state relating to climate change kaduna is the only state in northern nigeria that has created the office of the special assistant to the governor on climate change the involvement and collaboration of women groups in kaduna in the fight against climate change is noticeable in the state recently kaduna women numbering 2000 took to the streets to demand for climate justice the rally under the auspices of women initiative for sustainable environment was organized to sensitize members of the public on cop 28 nevertheless training and retraining of focal persons and dex officers on environmental matters is still needed on ground to facilitate issues of climate change are the ministry of environment and natural resources the center for energy and environmental strategy research and then the environment protection authority the state has also institutional frameworks on climate change the development and popularization of briquette stove in kaduna state in line with the state's policy on climate change is something to behold through the state's ministry for environment and natural resources people are being sensitized on the advantages of briquette and reducing reliance on deforestation and depletion of non-renewable fossil fuels already many households have embraced the use of briquette as their sources of energy for cooking our briquette can stay for 4 hours 38 seconds that's mean that it can cook for you and if you carry or you decided to take 16 pieces of the size which is no more than 3 cm it can cook for 6 people it can cook any water you want to bath it can also cook water for your tea just 16 pieces at a price lower than what you pay for foil wood it will discourage people from buying foil wood so foil wood market will die as soon as these people we train started producing briquette we have automated briquette machines and we have you know manual uh briquette machine and Kaduna state is willing also to buy more than 4000 pieces and people will be clustered clustered in 10 to have one machine to produce briquette in all the 23 local government of Kaduna state but this has been a project single-handedly pursued by the state government and very capital intensive certainly briquette production and utilization is a noble one that would need global recognition and assistance kaduna is doing its best to checkmate the adverse effect of climate change and other environmental issues yet more is needed to be done kaduna state nigeria is open to international partnerships and collaborations to enhance its environmental and social development